And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we're going to get into talking about the Cowboys 49ers game on Sunday night. It's a big matchup. Both teams you know, kind of need a win. Um, the Cowboys are coming off of a bye, but the week before that, of course, the Lions destroyed them. And the 49ers, I mean, they really did not play that well against the Chiefs. Brock Purdy had three interceptions, so they lost the Super Bowl matchup. And, yeah, both teams coming in struggling. Niners at 3-4, and four, Cowboys at 3-3. Three and three. Um, I did want to ask uh, Swerve95, if he's still in the chat, what, what kind of fan are you? Because he did say, we won't need a 67-yarder to win. So I'd like to know, what, what fan are you exactly? Just just curious. Um, so yeah, and obviously the 49ers, uh, back to this game, the 49ers and the Cowboys, they, you know, I, I mean, they've matched up against each other a few times these last few years, and the 49ers have gotten the best of the Cowboys. Um, but this matchup is going to be a little bit different. Again, both teams are struggling right now. The Niners are dealing with injuries. The Cowboys are dealing with injuries themselves on the defensive side of the ball. Also, just they haven't been great. Oh, okay. All right. So you're a Vikings fan. Gotcha. Uh, Swerve95 says Vikings. I, I, you know, I think the Vikings should win tonight. That's my opinion. Um, but anyways, so you know the Cowboys are dealing with injuries. They're not playing well. They can't really run the football. Um, the defense has just been defense has not been good it's not been good and you know they're kind of searching for answers right now um they don't really have a threat outside of cd lamb when you look at their pass catchers brandon cooks is still on ir it's just it's not a very good cowboys team and i look at this game and i think if there was a game for the cowboys to win this would be their opportunity to finally beat the niners the 49ers are, are, are dealing with a lot right now on both sides of the ball. Um, defensively, they're still waiting for Dre Greenlaw to come back. Offensively, Brandon Ayuk, of course, is going to be out for the year with a torn ACL. Debo Samuel, he was discharged from the hospital, you know, had pneumonia, uh, fluid in his lungs. So, you know, it's possible he could play, but again, we're not sure about that. George Kittle is dealing with a bit of a foot sprain. So it's possible that the Niners could be down all their top weapons, including Juwan Jennings, too, because he hasn't practiced either yet this week. So if there was an opportunity for the for the Cowboys to beat the Niners, it would be this week. Um, I mean, it is hard for me to see the Niners drop two in a row, but... It definitely can happen. Uh, and Swerve95 says Zimmer's defense. And and you know what's funny? You know very you, you know all too well about that because he used to be their head coach. Um Yeah. And and the Vikings used to have and he used to coach some good defenses with the Vikings. Like when they went to the, the NFC championship game against the Eagles, that was a good defense. Uh even though it did get shredded in that championship game. But and I don't mean to bring that up. But still, I, I mean, he used to coach some good defenses. It's just I don't know what's happened these last uh, these last few years. I mean, back in 2020, their defense was not good. Um, and this defense for the Cowboys. And you would think it would be good because, you know, you see Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence and, and Trayvon Diggs. And they got all these guys. And then again, you go back to the playoff game against the Packers and they got shredded. So, um, yeah, I it, it's going to be interesting. Now, I don't think we're really going to know what the status of, you know, George Kittle, Juwan Jennings, and Debo Samuel is going to be until we get closer to the game itself. Um, because right now, um, I'm trying to see. So, Demarcus Lawrence, he's not expected back until week 10. And right now, Micah Parsons is questionable. He didn't practice on Wednesday. Uh, so he may or may not come back. Uh, Brandon Cooks, his expected return is week 10. It's possible uh, Deron Bland could come back for week 8 uh, for this matchup. Again, I'm just looking at CBS. Um, so right now, uh, you know, Afanga, he's out with the wrist injury. His expected return is week 11. Like I said, Juwan Jennings didn't practice. George Kittle didn't practice. 
Uh, Christian McCaffrey could be back uh, possibly week 10, maybe. Uh, we'll see what happens with Debo Samuel, but yeah, it's uh, not looking good right now for both teams. Both teams are coming in banged up. So looking at the league rankings, uh, both teams are top 10 in passing yards per game. The Cowboys are second, 275.7 passing yards per game. The 49ers are sixth, 263 passing yards per game. In terms of rushing yards per game, the Niners are seventh. Uh, they're rushing for 149.9 rushing yards per game. And the Cowboys are dead last, 32nd, rushing for 77.2 rushing yards per game. Uh, points per game, Niners are eighth, 25.7 points per game and the Cowboys are 20th scoring 21 points per game and then looking at the defense uh, both teams not great against the pass Niners defense is 14th giving up an average of 217.3 and the Cowboys are 20th giving up an average of 226.5 uh, rushing yards per game uh, the 49ers are 12th they're giving up an average of 112.9 so kind of middle of the pack and the Cowboys are 27th, giving up an average of 143.2 rushing yards per game. So you would think that they could, uh, the Niners, they're going to lean on Jordan Mason. This could be a Jordan Mason game, similar to what we saw in week one against the Jets, especially if they're missing a lot of their weapons. Uh, Jordan Mason could be huge in this game and some of the other running backs as well. Points allowed, Niners defense is 16th, Cowboys defense is 31st. So... Like I said, that could be the key in the game is the Niners just running the football and have Brock Purdy manage the game. Um, if he doesn't have his, if he doesn't really have that many weapons, um, they did get Ricky Pearsall back last week. So that at least helps. But, you know, they're dealing with a lot right now. At least if you could get George Kittle Juwan, and Jawan Jennings for this game with Ricky Pearsall, and if Debo is still out. They should be okay, but, I mean, if you're losing Kittle and Debo um, and Juwan Jennings, I mean, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. But my expectation is at least, I'm going to say two of the three will play in this game. I'm going to say Kittle does play, hopefully, and maybe Juwan Jennings comes back. I feel like Debo is still, you know, unknown, but... Again, both guys didn't practice yesterday, so, uh, you know, that's not great. Even though a lot of times guys will not practice on Wednesday. We have to see what they do Thursday and Friday. So, um, and Swerve95 said in the chat regarding the Cowboys, and they overpaid useless Zeke, or useless Elliot. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know what the point of bringing Zeke back was. And, and also, they have Dalvin Cook, and... Look, I mean, I don't know how much of an upgrade Dalvin Cook would be. I mean, I think he'd be at least better than Zeke. But, you know, they brought him in and they just, they never, they have not elevated him to the active roster. So I guess maybe they just don't think there's anything there. Even though I keep seeing things uh, that Mike McCarthy says, like, oh, he looks good, you know, it, it, he has a chance to, you know, make the roster. I'm pretty sure I've seen that. But it just has not happened. Um, the Cowboys are one-dimensional right now. And they just... But they don't have another threat outside of CeeDee Lamb. You know, and... Um, you know, CeeDee Lamb's not putting up the numbers that he did last year. So it's just... This is not, this is not a very good Cowboys team. But... I wouldn't be surprised if they actually pulled off this win... Um, just because of how banged up the Niners are. But I'm still going to lean towards the Niners in this game. I think if, depending on who plays and who doesn't, because if they have, you know, they get their guys back, some of their guys back for this game, like if, at least if they have Jawan Jennings in this game and, and George Kittle, I think they're all right. Uh, Jawan Jennings had a big game, if you remember, against the Rams. Um... And that was basically Brock Purdy's number one weapon. You know, they got Ricky Pearsall back. Uh, we'll see what kind of player he is for them. Um, you know, taking on a bigger role. Because now with Brandon Ayuk out for the year, he's going to really have to, he's going to have to step up. 
Um, but I think if they're missing everybody, they're going to rely on that running game because the Cowboys are a team that just can't stop the run. Now, they're coming off of a bye week, so maybe they corrected some things during that time, or maybe not. It's going to continue to be the same thing. The Niners just, you know, the Niners have owned the Cowboys, and that could continue in this game. Uh, last year when they played on Sunday night, uh, George Kittle had three touchdowns. I mean, the Niners just looked unstoppable in that game. And in the playoff game the year before that, the score was 19-12. to So, I think the Niners win this game. Uh, in terms of a score, I'm going to say the Niners win 23-17. to I'm going to give the, I'm going to say that, I mean, that might even be a little bit too much for the, uh, for the Cowboys. I don't know. But yeah, 23 to 17. I, I think they win this game. They get back on the right track. I mean, they're going to have to. I mean, I, 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 it's hard for me to see them dropping back to back home games. But again, it's just they have not, they have not played well this year. Uh, they've been inconsistent. So, but I, I think they should win, get back on the right track. And for the Cowboys, they would drop to three and four. So. That's my thoughts on the game. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think wins? Let me know in the comments. So before we go to break, I just want to remind you guys once again to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to click the Super Chat button in the chat to create a Super Chat of any thought or comment you may have throughout the live broadcast. I will acknowledge it. And it just makes the show more lively, more entertaining between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. We appreciate your guys' viewership. Each and every day, so any contribution you can make to the show means the world to us as we put out content for you guys each and every day. And then also the other way to help out the show is by going to the link at the bottom of the show segment on the ticker, gsmcpodcast.net. That is gsmcpodcast.net. So when we come, come back from our next break, we will discuss the Eagles-Bengals game for Sunday. We'll talk about that and who I have winning that game. So, with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 